Let's talk a little bit today about the power of radical acceptance. What's going on, you guys? We're gonna talk a little bit today about things happening in your life that you don't have control over, that you don't like, and how to best deal with those things when they come up. So many of us, in fact, all of us, we run into situations where beyond our control, something happens that we don't like. Maybe somebody makes a mistake and hurts us in some way. You know, somebody doesn't follow through on a commitment that they said that they would do, or we get sick when we don't wanna be sick and have medical problems when we don't have medical problems. Whatever it is, this world is full of things that we don't like. And the interesting thing about that is, is that most of us, we get hyper-focused on the things that are going wrong that we don't have control over, and we put our focus on those things, and it actually causes an increase in the amount of suffering in our lives as a result. So today I wanna to talk a little bit about the power of a skill called radical acceptance and teach you a little short exercise to practice with this. Radical acceptance is about getting yourself to accept the reality of your situation, even if you don't like it. So many of us don't like to accept that things aren't going our way and we shouldn't always accept in terms of just giving up and rolling over and dying, right? But we also need to accept the reality of our situation because once we're there, it gives us the power to choose a response that fits the reality of our situation. So a couple of things, you know, just going on in my life and in the lives of my kids right now that would kind of illustrate this point a little bit. One is that I have currently a, an infection in my eye that doesn't allow me to wear my contacts. So I have to wear these glasses that make me look like Mr. Fredrickson. So I don't like that. But the truth is, is that I have either a scratch on my lens or an infection or something that doesn't allow me to wear those contacts without getting inflamed more. And so I can either sit and complain about how miserable it is that I have to wear my glasses and they're clunky and they you know, float around on my head all day, or I can just accept the truth of the situation that I'm gonna have to wear glasses for a while until at least until I get my eye problem figured out. And I will suffer less when I accept that because now I'm not focused on all the negative things and complaining about what should or shouldn't be and being mad about something that isn't going to change today because it is what it is today. My wife has some medical problems. We've been taking care of them and she's finally in a decent place now where those medical problems aren't nearly as bad as they used to be, but she still gets an occasional headache. And she gets this tingling and numbness that goes down through her fingers because of some nerve damage that had happened in her neck. Yesterday, she was complaining about that tingling and that nerve damage in her fingers. The simple truth is, is that as much as she doesn't like it, it's there and it's probably not going away. It's gonna come and go probably for as long as she lives. And as soon as she can come to an acceptance of the fact that that is her reality, She's still gonna do her best to take good care of herself, but she can accept it without complaining, without being upset about it, and it'll actually decrease her suffering. So here's a quick exercise for you. If you're in a spot where you have a situation in your life that is beyond your control and you don't like it, a small exercise called willing hands, open your posture, open your hands up, and you're simply just gonna practice saying, I don't like this, I can't change this, I'll accept it and you can do it multiple times, almost like a mantra. And what you're doing is you're getting your body and your brain to try to get into the reality of the situation that is something that's in your life that you don't like. And once you can come to acceptance, it will allow you to suffer less and have more choice. So I don't like this. I can't change this. I'll accept it. Thanks guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you found this to be valuable for you, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you're facing particular struggles that you need help with or roadblocks that you're running into, please submit a question. I'd be happy to answer it for you.